focus on this movie was to really try and tell a more personal side about what life in Guantanamo is like, you know, and really set aside the politics and all of the kind of propaganda that surrounds it and focus more on the experience of two characters that are down there. You know, there's the old adage of like, you know, when the elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. And so I didn't want to get into the elephants and the large geopolitical nature of the thing. I just wanted to focus on the grass, like the two, you know, the, the grunt soldier and the detainee down there that are stuck in this situation and have to find a way through it. So it's really about finding that kind of human connection between these two characters that are on the opposite sides of this kind of Cold War, as it were. I don't think anyone would, you know, dispute the fact that it's, it's, it's tough to be a girl and join the military. It's tough to hang with the boys. and. Um, I, you know, I, there were a few documentaries that were really helpful. Um, Pete is a really sensitive, really great guy, um, as is the whole cast. And, uh, you know, you, you, have, you have a girl who's already struggling um, with not like identity issues, it's just sort of like doing the right thing and feeling like, feeling like she can stand up to something bigger than her and not Crumble. I've been blessed to play a different character in pretty much every project that I've done so far. So uh, you approach each one differently. You know what I mean? This one wasn't so much of a stretch from from me, so it didn't take too much. Um, the rigidness of the military is something that I had to like control and and and, and train my body to do. Uh, you know, standing at attention and and, and all of that. For the prepa preparation, I think I, I, I read some articles and I saw some documentaries which was sent by Peter to me. And I uh, spoke with a lot of people who knew about these things. So uh, I started to do some, you know, personal, as you do always as an actor, you have to do something with yourself and find, uh, you know, your, you work on your accent, especially. The documentary did it for me. Uh, it just made me, you know, give me that visual. Uh, about what it's like to be at Guantanamo. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, and then the rest of it is, is just getting together with my castmates and building a rapport with everybody. I, I cried when I read this. <laughs> I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I mean, it sort of just shows that no matter what color your skin, no matter what language you speak, um, you know, where you're from, we're all humans. And, you know, there's that sort of humanity in that, you know, watching someone in a two by four cell every day, you know, for for months and months and months, you kind of start feeling bad for them sometimes. I love this movie. I love being a part of it. I think it's going to cause a bit of controversy. I think it's going to, you know, uh, cause a lot of people to ask questions. You know, what do we do about Guantanamo Bay? What do we do with these detainees down there? And do they deserve their day in court? And uh, so to be a part of something that could have, create that kind of zeitgeist and hopefully some change, um, I couldn't ask for anything better.